Good morning, everyone. Hello, it's Miss Kendra from Learn and Play Montessori School. I'm very happy to see you again today. How are you doing? How's your Tuesday morning? Good, you're eating breakfast? Awesome. It's another beautiful day outside. It's not too sunny. Maybe it'll be hot, maybe it'll be warm. Maybe. Yesterday was Monday, right? So that means today is Tuesday and tomorrow is Thursday? Today is Tuesday, tomorrow is Wednesday. Yes, thank you, Wednesday. We move forward one day to the 21st. What month are we in? July, July. Tuesday, July 21st, 2020, right? And how many months are in the year? 12, fantastic. Let's take a look at some beginning sounds. And then we're gonna take a look at some patterns, but first let's look at these sounds. I've got some things to color with and I've got my paper. I'm gonna write my name up top. All right, so we are looking at who in this first one? What are we looking at? What animal is that? Yeah, what animal are you coloring right this very moment? It's not just a bird, it's what? Right, a duck. Yeah, that's a duck. And what do you hear in the beginning of duck? What sound do you hear? What is the beginning sound d duck? You need to write the first letter of duck for the beginning sound. What is the first letter that you hear? D duck. A D, yeah. Excellent, a D. Let's write D here on the line for duck. And the next one, that's not just a mountain, right? It is exploding. It's exploding lava. What explodes lava? Yes, a volcano. So when we say volcano, what is the beginning sound that we hear? Volcano. Is it O? Is that the beginning sound? No. Volcano. V. Volcano. What does volcano sound with? Start with. V. Yeah, a V. Volcano. V. Volcano. And ooh. What is this? Is that for me? No, it's for you. It's for you. This is a This is a present, but here it is called a gift. A gift. A gift. When you hear the word gift, you say gift. Good. And what letters is the beginning sound with gift? Right, a G, yeah, you heard a G. Okay, let's write a G on the line. It's a white box with a blue ribbon. Cool, okay, G on the line there. Gift, gift, starts with letter G. The next one is a picture of a, what is that? It's a, Guitar, yeah. And it is missing something very important. The strings of the guitar. Okay, and when we say guitar, what letter do you hear first? G, -t guitar, guitar. Is it a D? Guitar? No, that doesn't work. Is it a V? Vitar? 
G. Yeah, it's a G. We have another G here. Guitar. G guitar. And the next picture is not a jacket. What is that? Yeah, that's a vest. And a yellow vest it is. So what is the beginning sound of vest? What do you hear? What is the first sound? Vest. Is it S? Vest. No. We already have an E there. V. Vest. V. Yeah, like volcano. V. Vest. Right of B on the line. Super. And the next picture is a a door. Yeah, that's right. It's a door. So, what is the beginning sound in the word door? Door. What is that beginning sound? A D. Yeah, excellent. You guys are doing great. A D. That's right. Let's write D on the line. D O O R. Can you hear that? D door. Sounds like a D, right? Yeah. Super. Oh, sorry. Let's do some construction patterns. All right. You ready for this? Okay, so first, let's cut out our patterns. If it's on the back of your paper, oh, that's okay. That'll be all right. All right, let's cut out your pictures down below. And we'll get ready to glue them where they belong. We're gonna be looking at some patterns here today. And then, I wanna see if we can make some of our own patterns with our counters, counters or with pencils or anything. All right, are you cutting your pieces out? Awesome, me too. Okay, and we are gonna be talking about a construction worker today. And a construction worker needs a lot of tools for building. So here we can see a lot of these tools. Right? Let's, let's take a look at some of these tools here. So we have in this first pattern. Do you remember what these are called? Pliers. Pliers. <laughs> these are pliers and a wrench, pliers and a wrench. Pliers, wrench, pliers, something's coming next. And then this one is a saw, that's to cut, right, a saw. This is the way he saws the wood, saws the wood. You remember that? And then what is this one? A hammer, a hammer. And down here? A screwdriver, a screwdriver, and a drill, a drill, and a screw, and more pliers, and a file, and a chisel. So many tools for the construction worker. So let's look at the first pattern. <clears throat> we have pliers and a wrench. So we need to figure out what is going to come next. Do you have your glue also? Super. So we see here in the first one, pliers, wrench, pliers, wrench, pliers. What's coming after the pliers there? More pliers? More pliers? No, that doesn't look right. It's not pliers, wrench, pliers, wrench, pliers, pliers. Pliers, wrench, pliers, wrench, pliers. Wrench, yeah. 
That's very true. Let's put our wrench there. Wrench. You know the beginning sound in wrench? Wrench. Sounds like an R, right? But that one's tricky. It's a W. Wild. Let's look at the next pattern. I see a saw and a hammer. Are you saying this out loud with me? Say it out loud with me. Ready? Saw, hammer, saw, hammer, saw. Hmm. What comes next? What comes after the saw? The hammer, that's right. Good job. That is fantastic. Let's do the rest of these and we'll try and make our own patterns. Here's a screwdriver and a drill. Screwdriver, drill. Screwdriver, What are our options here? A drill, a chisel, or a wrench? Screwdriver, drill. Screwdriver, drill. Screwdriver, drill. Yeah, drill. Okay. <clears throat> Next one, screw pliers. Screw what? And then screw pliers. This pattern, we're looking for a middle part, not at the end. We're looking for in the middle. So let's think about that. We know here, we see, we can see two here. Screw. And then after the screw comes what? Pliers. So we don't know what's coming here, but we can see over here after the screw comes pliers. So in the middle, it's gonna be the same, right? It's a pattern, same pattern. Screw, what comes after that? Screw, pliers. Screw, hmm? screw, pliers. What comes after the screw? Pliers, yeah, pliers because it is screw, pliers, screw, pliers, screw, pliers. Okay, let's look at the next ones. We have a file and a chisel. I see a file, chisel, file, hmm, file, chisel. So we're missing something here. What comes after the file? File, chisel. File, chisel, file, hmm. Chisel, yes, a chisel. That's right. So let's put that there. Fantastic. And let's take a look at some of our own patterns. If you have counters with you or pencils and crayons, we can try, or you can follow Miss Kendra on here, because this is not a worksheet, this is just for fun. Okay, let's make our own pattern. I have some small clear counters and I have some apple counters. So let's make our first pattern. I'm using an apple and clear counters. So first apple, then clear. What's gonna go next? Apple, then what? Clear. So if I put an apple here, can you tell me what's gonna go next? Yeah, that's right, a clear. And what about if I take this away? Do we know what goes after the apple? Can we look at these over here to figure it out? So what are we missing here? Yeah, right, this is like one apple, one clear counter, one apple, one clear counter, one apple, one clear counter. But what if, you just wait. 
What if we have one apple, two clear counters? Let's see. Now we have one apple, two clear counters, one apple, two clear counters, one apple. What are we missing? What comes after the apple? One. Then what comes after that? Another one? Yeah. That's the pattern we see. We see there's a two after the apple every time. All together, these are our patterns. This is our pattern, right? Or we could do two apples, one counter. Two apples, one counter. What comes next? Two apples, one counter. Two apples, one counter. Yeah, two apples, right? And then off the side, one counter. That's really cool. You can make patterns in your own house using anything. Really, right? Like we could have uh, pencils, one counter, one pencil, one counter, one pencil. What comes next? Yeah, one counter and then one pencil. Miss Kendra has so many pencils. Life is so good. Okay, let's take a look at let's go. this paper here. Okay, and then we're gonna sing a song together. Let's write our name up top. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Yeah, that's a construction worker. So we are going to color the picture, trace the words, and in the box, color the items the construction worker might use. So what is a construction worker? Can you guys tell me what a construction worker is? Yeah, what do they do? They build things. Yeah, they build things. And they need lots of tools to build things. They build big things like our buildings, like your house, all those things. So what do they need? Right? Yeah, they need tools. They need big trucks, like a cement truck. What about a dump truck, too? Yeah, and they're working with big, heavy things and building tall, 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 tall buildings, right? If something's falling on them, they have to be safe. They have to protect themselves. What is this on his head that's protecting his head? Yeah, his safety helmet. And his friends need to be able to see him really, 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 really well. So his safety helmet and his vest is such a bright color. Such a bright color. So everyone can see him no matter what. Just in case something falls. Right? And what does he have on his belt here? This is his tool belt, right? Tool belt, right? What kind of tools does the construction worker use? You remember these tools? Yeah, what are some of those tools? Yes, a hammer, that's right. So let's color the hammer down here. The hammer. And what else? Does he need the thermometer? No. Does he need the safety cone? 
Yeah, a construction worker will use the safety cone to show people, don't go this way, there is construction over here, don't go this way. Or, be very, very careful, there's construction over here. We want to keep the construction workers safe because they are very important, just like our other community helpers. What does he have on his feet? Can you wear sandals to the construction site? Can the construction worker wear sandals? Oh no, he has to protect his feet like he protects his head. He's got big boots on there. Big boots. And some blue jeans. Let's see here. He looks very happy. I think that's because he's a very hard worker. What else? does he need to build buildings, right? What's some more tools? He needs a safety cone, a hammer. Does he need a police hat? No, he doesn't need a police hat. Doesn't need a thermometer. What about a screw? Yeah, he could use a screw to put some things together when he's building. A screw. What about a screwdriver? How are you gonna put the screws in? We use a screwdriver. And next, we have, what is that? Right, that's a saw. What is he gonna use the saw for? To cut? Yeah, he's gonna use it to cut. Okay, let's color our, what kind of truck is that? Is that the dump truck? No, when you see these in the street, you see this back part is spinning, spinning, spinning. Yeah, what kind of truck is this? The cement truck, that's right. When a construction worker is building the building, he needs lots of help from different kinds of construction workers, like a cement worker or Who's going to put the lights in your building? Who's going to put the lights in? An electrician. There's lots of different workers that work together with a construction worker to build a huge building. Right? It's not just a simple task. To build a building, you need lots of things, like a plan. You cannot just go build a building and say, oh, I'm thinking to go this way. No, you have to have a big plan. You have to get all your materials together. Find all your helpers. Get ready to go. Make sure everything is safe. Then we can start building. Okay, let's trace the word construction worker down here. First C. C-O-N-S-T-R-U-C-T-I-O-N. Construction worker. W-O-R-K. E R. I am a construction worker. Let's take a look at some quick pictures and then we'll sing a song about one of the construction workers, very important helpers, the carpenter. So here we can see a carpenter doing some work here. These men are building things with wood, right? You don't see, I don't see them building things with plastic or metal, I see them building things with wood. This is a carpenter. And let's see on the other side, we have some pictures of, this is a construction worker. He's cutting wood right now. Maybe he does other things too. What are they wearing? What do you see them wearing? What's on their heads? A safety helmet, right? That's gonna keep them safe and are their vests really dark colors? 
No, Miss Kendra, they're so bright. They're so bright. Like the way we colored our construction worker, such a bright colored vest so everyone can see them. And look how dangerous. This man, it looks like he's in the sky. The ground is all the way down there. So these people are working in very dangerous conditions. And this here is an iron worker. He is putting together these big pieces of metal. That's someone who helps the construction worker, the iron worker, and the carpenter, and the electrician, and the roofer, and the plumber, and so many more. Okay, let's stand up. Come on over. Thanks for doing those worksheets with me. Let's sing a song and build something. Does that sound good? Okay. So we remember the carpenter well, he saws the wood, right? He nails the nails and he paints the house. All right, you ready to sing this song with me? Yeah? Okay, good. One, two, three. This is the way he saws the wood, saws the wood, saws the wood. This is the way he saws the wood, sawing, sawing, sawing. This is the way he nails the nails, nails the nails, nails the nails. This is the way he nails the nails, nailing, nailing, nailing. This is the way he paints the house, paints the house, paints the house. This is the way he paints the house, painting, painting, painting. Whew, that carpenter works hard. Okay, now for some fun. Do you have some scratch paper? You do? Okay, fantastic. Let's sit down and use some scratch paper to build a building. Okay, I'm thinking I want to make a tall tower. Let's see if I can be a construction worker. So I'm going to first fold some papers in half. These are old scratch paper, okay? Or old worksheets, whatever you have. This is recycling, right? We're reusing, this is reusing, the paper. So I'm making one fold like this. I'm going to put it here because a construction worker would say you need a very strong foundation, right? So I'm going to put a few of these together and I'm going to make it tall, 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 tall. Maybe you're going to make it taller than you. You think you can do that? We can try. Let's see. Okay, so I've got another one. This is my foundation. This is my building's foundation. And here is the first floor. Woo! I'm building. Are you building? You can watch and build after or build with me together. So I have more papers. I want to make a second floor. My building is going to be a huge, wonderful building. Let's let's see what Miss Kendra can do. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> my building. I'll have to keep trying. Okay, looks like that way is not going to work. Let's try a different way. Okay. Back to it. Oh, this is not not steady. Okay. All right. I'm gonna try putting it a different way here. Okay. More promising. Um. I need this one to be smaller. I'm gonna cut my paper a little bit. Okay, I brought my scissors just in case. Yes, okay, let's see some more. I'm gonna cut a paper in half and keep building my tower. What are you gonna build? Really, that sounds really big. I'm happy for you. Okay, now I want Okay, 
one more here. Okay, now it's not too steady, but it's getting tall. Nope, I may not, I need practice as a construction worker, I think. Let's do one more and see if I can get it any taller than this. I think, what do you, do you think I can do it? You say, go Miss Kendra. Go Miss Kendra. Go Miss Kendra. Thank you, I can hear you. I think it's helping me. Okay. Dun da da. Da da. Hmm. Keep going, go Miss Kendra. Go Miss Kendra. All right, one. This is it. <laughs> All right, you guys, you keep trying to build your building with your extra papers, okay? You guys have lots of fun today. Think about your construction worker. I need a plan first. I need my tools. I need to make sure it's safe, right? Okay, you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow.